In today's video, I build out a creative design layout using Cadence Blocks. We will be using the free and the pro versions of Cadence Blocks. Here's the final result of what I intend to build out. You won't find a single Cadence Block that allows you to build a section with this design layout. Without any further ado, let's begin. I am Natalie, the founder of this YouTube channel. On this channel, I make videos about WordPress. Having a good creative design will help you create a strong impression, build a brand identity and build consumer trust. I love exploring new design ideas and developing innovative solutions to problems. You can implement this layout I am about to make it on your own WordPress site. This is a very simple to make. As to tools I'm using, I have installed the free and pro versions of the Cadence blocks. And for the theme, I'm using the free version of Cadence theme. I have already created these article posts, as you can see. Each article has its own category, as well as the feature image. The first thing I always like to do is to determine the page layout. You can achieve this in two possible ways. You can define globally through the customizer page layout, where you can control and manipulate the page settings. You want to the page title above above or in content area and the page layout over here normal narrow full width I go now with normal and the content style to boxed you can also control and manipulate page settings for each and every page within this page edit screen you access the settings for the page by clicking on this top right icon you can disable the page title content style to boxed and much more page layout normal once the page layout has been defined we are ready to start building the design from scratch i begin by having a container for my section the cadence container block is the row layout block so click on the plus icon to insert a new block then type in row this one Define the two equal columns by clicking on the second item. For the left column, click on the plus icon within the block to insert a new cadence block. This time I will insert the posts block to showcase the latest articles. You easily recognize that you are using the cadence blocks since they have this light blue color. By default, the posts block display the three most recent entries as you are watching doesn't look nice, right? This left column should only display a large article box. Let's rearrange the content. Click on the gear icon located at the top right corner to start editing the content area. Let's narrow down the number of items to one. Below, I'll make sure you narrow down the categories to only one. I choose mine to be a lifestyle. Next, scroll down to go to the layout settings tab in the block sidebar. Set the column to one as well. Set the drop down align image to top. Cool. The style is boxed and under the category settings tab, define the category styles to peel. Pile. I don't know how to spell. I'm sorry. Next, determine the HTML tag. I go with H4. In the content settings, turn off these two options. No, I want to enable the read more button. Super easy. There you go. For the right column, let's drag the posts block once more. Click on the plus icon, head in the posts block, adjust the settings appropriately so you can display other different articles posts in this section. Set the number of items to 4, change the number of columns in the layout settings tab to 2. You will get four boxes with articles grouped two per row. In the content settings, delete the article preview and the read more button. And you now have columns that vary significantly in its height. 
In the Title Size tab, change the size of the title to H5. By changing the image size settings, you can try to align the height of these two columns. You can experiment with the Image Ratio option in the Image Settings tab. So select the first post block, scroll down, find the Image Settings, and under the Image Ratio, I set mine to be for five, just like that. And then I select my second posts block and under the image settings, I set the image ratio to be one, one. Okay, everything looks as planned, fantastic. If you find the images too large, you can set the image ratio to inherent and the image side set to thumbnail. So select posts, images ratio and read and they become shorter what you can also do is to align the second right column to the middle so that we get some empty space to have the title let me show you how so select the right column and from the block toolbar choose to align to middle instead of align to top set it to align to middle so this way i get some empty room just like that and then choose to insert so select the section select the posts and choose the option to insert before now i add in an advanced test i set mine to be latest article for example with the H4 and the color would be this blue color to match my brand and then we can also set the image ratio to this left column to instead of 4 5 we set it to Android or 1 1 and they become perfectly aligned as you are watching I want to set here my background color. You can also remove the padding from the row lay from the row block, set it to zero and zero. So play around. The next section is to display a gallery showcasing more articles for my users. So to achieve that, will we use the Cadence Blocks Pro? So first insert a new single column with a single column. Let's add first the title. So row advanced text and I type in gallery. Then I click on insert after insert a row layout single. This time do a search for advanced gallery. Let's create a stunning photos gallery. So first I need to select my images from my media library and we create a new gallery just like that. This is a very versatile cadence box you can create in a matter of two or three clicks away stunning photos galleries. From the right sidebar, you determine the style you want to use as a mastery, grid, carousel, fluid, carousel, a slider, and titles. I go with fluid carousel, and there you go. I like this style, it's simple and engaging. And then under the image styles, I set my border to be a 9, 9 pixels. And under the carousel settings, I also want to change this black on white. Yeah, I like it. And we are done. So the last section is the call to action section. So click on the plus icon, insert a new row to equal columns and select the row. And I set the width to set it to full width. For my left, I insert an advanced an image, advanced image by cadence. I select and I insert this image. The max image width, I set mine to 10.8. And for my right column, I want a form. I don't want to use the name, just the email field. Under the row layout, I want to upload my background image. This one, 
Cool, awesome. Select the column or the section and under the Flex Align Settings, I set mine to be vertical. For the form, let's put here a background color. Under the background settings, I want to put a transparent color. And under the padding and margin, let's set a padding of 25 all around. If you want to narrow down in the center the width of this section content, use the max width setting for the row content. This will allow your background to be full width and for the content inside your background to max at a specific place. So select the row layout and under the structure settings, Set the content max width to 50 VH. Let's preview. Looking great. Now let's check for mobile devices. Well, everything is fine except the gallery block. Let's fix this issue. Select the row where the advanced gallery block is placed and from the right sidebar select visibility settings and then choose to hide on mobiles. Let's check now on front end how this is look as I'm scrolling as I'm resizing the gallery is hidden. The last thing I want to do is to fix this issue, so select the row layout under the structure settings, the custom content max width, I set here to 100 VH and you are done. Everything now is perfectly aligned. I really hope you guys find this practice video helpful and valuable to you. If so, make sure you subscribe to the channel or smash the like button as a way to support me. Share it with your friends or on your social media channels. If you have any doubts and questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I will do my best to help you out. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.